Hello, and welcome to a new video series that I'm calling The Defined. There is two goals to this video series. The first one is to keep everyone up to date on upcoming youth events. And the next one is to also have a youth-oriented devotional thought brought by either me or one of the young men from our congregation. So first, events. I'd like to thank everyone who participated in the scripture egg hunt on Saturday. Whether it was hunting or hiding, everyone seemed to enjoy it and also got to see faces maybe they hadn't seen in a while. So thank you for participating in that. Next is Zoom video calls. Starting this week, we're going to start doing the video calls for 7th through 12th graders. We've been doing it with high school the past couple weeks, but this week we're bringing in the 7th and 8th graders. That is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. for grades 7 through 12th. Information on how to join will be going up on our Facebook page, so please make sure you get the notification for that and see that. And if you haven't joined the Facebook page, make sure you do that as well. That is it's Church Street Student Ministry on Facebook. Next is Senior Night. We're still planning on doing Senior Night. The date may change depending on the quarantine, but it's still on the agenda. So seniors, please make sure you get your pictures in to me. That's 15 pictures for the slideshow. And also there will be a form going out to y'all that's for you to fill out for activities, clubs, sports, and so on. That way I can get that information from you and announce it to the congregation whenever we do have Senior Night. That will be coming out very shortly. Next thing is summer camp. Summer camp is June 7th to the 12th. We're still planning that as well. We'll have to keep an eye on the quarantine and see what happens with that. But as of this moment, summer camp is still a go. That is again June 7th through 12th for grades 4th and up. So next, on to the second goal of this video series, which is the devotional period. The Define. That's the title of this series. As Christians, we are defined as what? That's a question that we're going to be discussing and exploring as we go throughout this video series. Each video will discuss some kind of trait or responsibility that a Christian should have. As a Christian, how does this define us? Whether it's bravery, whether it's, whether it's courage, faith, love, kindness, so on and so forth. There's many things you can list there. But how does this define us as Christians? How are we defined? So, to understand that better though, we have to go back to the beginning. We must know why we're Christians in the first place. We're going to go back to Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. It says, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. It says it three times in that verse that God created us. He created us in the image of him. He created us for a purpose. He's powerful. He's all-knowing. He's all-seeing. He created us with his power to fulfill a purpose, to be a part of the body and to glorify him. To look at that first part about being part of the body, we're going to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12. It says, Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body. So it is with Christ. In this group of Christians, as we're defined, we all have a part to play. We all have a role to play in the plan that God has set before us. Whether it's teaching classes, singing, from the, singing or preaching from the pulpit, helping out at camps and youth events, whatever it may be, we all have some purpose to fill in the plan for God. We have to be a part of the body. In the next part of that, the glorifying Him part, we're going to look at Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. It says, Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. To fulfill that purpose of glorifying Him, we have to be heaven-focused. The way we act, the way we talk to people, all has to reflect what it means to be a Christian. It defines us. Sometimes, and I tell the kids this a lot, what people see when it comes to Christianity sometimes may only be you. They may not have been raised in a church. They may not have ever been handed a Bible. Sometimes people's view of Christianity, how they define Christianity, is by how you as a Christian act. So we have to make sure in everything that we do, we're glorifying and honoring God the right way. So as we go throughout this video series, keep that in mind. We are created. We are part of the body, and we have to be heaven-focused. Thank you for watching. Making sure to subscribe to this channel for notifications about when these videos go live, when Faith Walk goes live, other videos, and also our live stream on Sundays. So make sure you subscribe so you get those notifications. As well as make sure you follow our social media pages on Facebook, whether it's Church Street Church of Christ or Church Street Student Ministry on Facebook. Please follow those to make sure you're getting all the updated information when it comes to events. So at this point, we're going to end the video with a prayer. So I ask that you please bow with me. Dear Heavenly Father, as we go through our lives, we ask that you help us to remember who created us. This all-knowing, all-powerful, all-seeing God deemed us worthy to be created. 
We ask that you help us to understand that, help us to realize that we have to be part of the body, that we have to understand we glorify you in everything that we do, that we have to make sure what defines us as Christians are good traits and good responsibilities, not selfishness, not pride, not anger, any of that stuff, but it's faithfulness, it's bravery, it's courage, it's love and compassion, it's kindness, and so on and so forth. We ask you help us to keep our hearts and minds focused on you in everything that we do, and throughout this process to help bring someone else closer to you, to grow your kingdom and further the best way that we can. Lord, we thank you for all the blessings of life you've given us and the grace of these blessings and your Son down the cross for our sins. Forgive us those sins, Father. Bless the Son's name we pray. Amen.